How do we boost American industry here at home while expanding our competitive edge overseas? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum, and I'm joined by Congressman Mark Vesey, Democrat from Texas. Congressman, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. So the economy is still limping along. The, the president's saying that we're getting ourselves out of this big ditch, if you will, that we found ourselves in back in 2008 and 2009. It was called the Great Recession. Um, American businesses, it appears that they're coming back, but there's some initiatives that you're working on in your district. What are they? Right, absolutely. Uh, Robert, we need to do several things to get the economy uh, back going as strongly as it should be. The first thing is that we need to make uh, an investment in manufacturing. Uh, you know, we have manufacturing jobs here uh, in this country uh, that need to be filled. Uh, we believe that we can do that by transforming our, our educational system. Uh, we need to make sure that we're giving women the opportunity to work in manufacturing. Some of our shortages in manufacturing uh, positions are because we're not training enough women. Uh, we need to know that uh, when uh, America succeeds, when women succeed. And Congressman, just to be clear for our viewers at home that are watching the program, manufacturing jobs are things that, that you make. I mean, it's, it's this pen, it's this desk. And oftentimes, those are good quality paying jobs. They are good quality And what we've jobs. seen over the last couple of years is a lot of those good quality paying jobs are being shipped overseas, whether it's to India or China, or you going down the list. There's an initiative uh, in the House of Representatives to keep those jobs here in America, no? Right, yeah, there absolutely is. Uh, Make It in America. Uh, and uh, Democrats uh, in the U.S. House uh, have several Make It in America bills that we want to get onto the House for because we believe in the middle class in America. We believe that if we make an investment uh, that we can have more companies like Lasco Fans. I'm going to work uh, at Lasco uh, and I'm going to help build fans on Monday. Uh, and, uh, and because that's important to talk about, uh, you know, just how important it is to bring these jobs back and make an investment uh, in these companies that build things. Because truly, in order to have a good, solid, middle-class foundation in this country, it's manufacturing. It's, that's what it's been really from the very beginning. Uh, and that's what we need to bring back to this country in order to support the middle the class. The bedrock of this of this country, no a lot question. of people would say. You know, Congressman, a lot of uh, CEOs in America would say, look, I want to keep the jobs here in this country. I want to make sure that Americans uh, have those jobs. However, the, the the business environment here in America in terms of the high quality, ta the high paying taxes, uh, in terms of the environmental regulation, it doesn't make sense for me to keep that job here in America when I can do that job or ship that job overseas. So the, pr the question it becomes, is how do you make uh, the environment here in America much more conducive for CEOs? Well, we can. I, I think that uh, that we obviously need to do more. We need tax reform in this country. Obviously, uh, I think that that's something that Democrats and Republicans should be able to work on. Uh, but uh, in order to really uh, make manufacturing as strong as it should be in this country, I do think that we need uh, to continue to invest in the American worker. Uh, when you look at manufacturing and just uh, uh, in many aspects how much more high skilled it is now. Uh, many people need uh, computer skills, they need STEM skills to be able to compete for the new manufacturing jobs in this country. That's something that we can do here in America better uh, than, than they can do anywhere else in the world. So let's put money into our school system to transform it like they did at the P-TECH Academy in Brooklyn where President Obama spoke. And we can be competitive in manufacturing in this country again. We just need a good investment. Yeah, we have about 45 seconds left. You mentioned STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, and reinvesting in the worker. Does that mean basically uh, making making sure that that worker has the right skills to do the job, making sure that if they, if in fact they want to go to college, that they have the ability to go to college. Is that what you're speaking of, Congressman? Right, yeah, absolutely. Making sure that they have the, the right skill set. And people have to understand that today's manufacturing job is not the same as grandfather or dad's manufacturing job. Manufacturing now deals with robots, deals with working with uh, high-skilled uh, computers and machinery. It's a lot harder than it used to be. We need to train workers here to fill those jobs. Congressman Mark V.C., Democrat from Texas, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.